What's going on everybody? My name is Steven Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly. And on this video, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I did the air pump delete on this 95 Cadillac Fleetwood. I'm doing this mod to clean up the engine bay. I did something similar when I did the throttle body coolant bypass mod. I have a video for that. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out as well. The air pump is already out and I'm going to reverse order this time. I'm starting at the end and what I need to do is to cap off both of the openings on the exhaust manifold. There's one on the driver's side and there's also one on the passenger side. And I'm using oil drain plugs that I purchased from Napa. You can see the part number right there, 7041048. So I'm going to get these plugs installed and then I'll talk a little bit more about these after they're in. One of the things you have to check for when you're doing this is what type of fitting you have on your exhaust manifold for the air pump. It's my understanding that for 94 and early 95s, it has the one like I have here. I have an early 95. So once you remove the air pump tubing, you will have an opening here that you need to fill with a male plug that goes in. Now, it's my understanding if you have a late 95 or 96, then it'll be a male fitting that sticks up from the manifold and you'll need a cap to go over the top of that. So just make sure you know which one you have so that you can buy the correct part. So getting the air pump out was actually pretty easy. I have the intake assembly right here that I removed. You just need to loosen the clamps on both sides. See the clamp is still here on the air box. The other clamp is down there. Disconnect it from the home plate. After you get that out of the way, you can clearly see the air pump, which is right here. And to remove the air pump, I just use my ratchet extension and socket. This is a 10 millimeter socket. And you'll remove the three screws that are around the air pump. And nothing's blocking them. You can get to them pretty easily. And then there's one electrical connector that you need to disconnect. You do that and then you can get this off. For the bracket, there's two 14 millimeter bolts and then a 14 millimeter nut. Now the two bolts here, you can get to with no problem, but this nut, is going to be blocked. The nut is going to be blocked by the two spark plug wires at the top right here. This one here and this one here. So if you just pull those out of the way, you can see right there is where the nut was. And with these out of the way, you can easily get to the nut, take it off, and then you can put these back and then you can slide the bracket right off. For the piping on the exhaust manifold, I had to cut it first and I used this cutoff tool right here. And you can see from the part right here where I cut it, by cutting it, it allowed me to get my socket and extension on here and the breaker bar to break this loose and take it out. So I cut it on this side and I cut it on this side as well. And you can see here, it's in a bunch of pieces. It's cut here, it's cut here. I mean, I cut it into I cut it into as many pieces as I felt necessary to get it out. So after you cut it at the top and you get the nut out, you're gonna to have to go underneath the engine and cut it in the middle. Once you cut it, you can pull it from the driver's side pretty easily, but on the passenger side, it's still a little tight. So I had it loose, but I pulled it up a little bit and cut it down here. And once I cut it a second time, I actually pulled it out through the bottom. So you may need to cut it several times, but it'll come out. So now I need to plug this opening on the air box. There was a hose that went to the air pump from here. To close off the opening on the air box, I just cut a piece of the rubber hose and I glued in the cap on the end. So now I'm just gonna slide it over and put a clamp over it. All right, with that done, there's one more thing. On the air pump, there's an electrical connector. And as you can see, I cut it off and I have it here. After I cut it off, I pulled this cap off the top, pulled the wiring out, put the cap back on, spray painted it black. And I'm gonna use this as a cap for the electrical connector we have here that's just hanging. Now, 
everything's back together the car is running great put my hand near the plugs to see if i felt any exhaust gases and i didn't so i think everything is sealed up good so here's everything back together and with that air pump out of the way and all of the piping around the exhaust manifolds out of the way it's just a much much cleaner engine bay and also it's going to make it a lot easier to get to those spark plugs and also the spark plug wires it's just a much much cleaner look now this is a 95 it's an obd1 car so i do not get a check engine light i don't have to get it tuned it's almost as if the car doesn't know that it ever had an air pump now, if you have a late 95 or 96 or one with the obd2 system on it you will have to get this tuned out or you may throw a check engine light but i'm very pleased with this mod it's pretty simple again just to make sure you get the right plug or cap for your exhaust manifold i'm really happy with this and it really cleaned up the engine bay If you found that video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.